My name is Jürgen and I am the designer of Color My Critters, which is a deck builder game. So it's all about the cards. I'm going to teach you how to play the game in this video, but let me first give you a brief overview of the different cards. So in a deck builder everyone gets a starting deck like this, right? So these starting cards all have the same cute little creature on them. Uh, and they have these blotches here that you use to purchase additional cards with. The, the cards you purchase are also uh, critters. Now these, all the critter cards in the critter deck have a unique cute little uh, critter here. And they have a price at the bottom of the card and they have an effect on the top of the card here. Usually splotches of different colors, some wild ones, some draw extra card icons as well. Um, and the idea is that all these creatures are lacking their color, right? So you need to collect the paint splotches of the correct uh, colors and then you need item cards to, to uh, color in the different critters, right? So the item cards that help you score points is the paintbrush and the palette which help you to color in the critters. And then there's another item card called the magic wand which makes it easier for you to purchase additional cards, especially the expensive ones. And the most expensive cards in the game, now in addition to uh, the palette uh, are the um, point critters. So these critters already have color on them and they score you points directly. But they can get quite expensive as you can see. So that's an overview of the different cards. Let's dig into how you play this game. To set up the game, you must separate the three kinds of cards. Uh, the player starting cards, the main critter deck, and the item cards. So you can easily do that by looking at the background of the card. So the item cards uh, have this uh, wooden desk texture. Uh, the main critter deck, all ha cards have uh, notebook lines in the background. And the starting cards for players have a clear and light color like this. So the critter deck is simply shuffled. And the starting cards are distributed among the players. So each player gets a starting deck consisting of six cards. So all those six cards have the same creature on them. So that's one starting deck and here is another starting deck and here is a third one. We're going to play with three players. So remaining starting cards are taken out of the game. So the starting deck has six cards um, and that's two cards of each of the primary colors in the game. So two uh, cards with magenta splotches here, two cards with cyan splotches and two cards with yellow splotches. Now in addition there is one extra wild splotch there uh, on one of the cards. And this is sort of the currency in the game that you use to purchase additional cards. So you start with these six cards and you purchase additional cards to build your deck during the game. So one, two, and three players. So the item cards, there are three of them. You always use all of the magic ones included. They're all the same. Um, and you want a number of paintbrushes and palettes included in the game. So uh, there is in the rule book a table telling you how many you want of each. But it's quite simple to, to count them out based on number of players. So paintbrushes you want two for each player and one additional. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven paintbrushes. And for palettes you want one for each player plus one additional. So one, two, three, and four palettes. And the remaining are taken out of the game. And the last thing you want to do is prepare the critter market, which you do by flipping the top four cards of the critter deck. So these are the cards available for purchase for the first player when starting the game. So let's begin. Each player has shuffled their starting deck and you draw three cards to your hand 
at the start of each turn. So here uh, I have two yellow splotches, one science splotch and one wild. So I can have four total splotches to, to purchase cards with. Now, as you can see, the creature cards in the market also have these effects in the top of the card, but they also have a price at the bottom of the card. So this card will cost two yellow splotches, while this card will cost one cyan and one yellow. So you always um, buy one, exactly one card each turn, and you spend all of your cards in your hand to buy that one single card. So if I um, want to buy this card, I can because I have one science blotch, so that's fine. And I sp put all of my cards into the discard pile and um, turn passes to the next player. So we'll refill the critter market and the next player um, draws their three cards and see what they can purchase. So this player has two yellow and one cyan, so we can purchase this one, costing two yellow. There we go. All that goes into discard and a third player. Here we go, third player. There's two magenta, one yellow and one uh, wild. So um, this player wants to buy this uh, wild card and uh, the player can do so because it costs one cyan and one yellow. So by spending the yellow and the wild, you can purchase this card. And so the game progresses. Uh, each player draws uh, three cards to their hand and then uh, chooses one card to purchase. Now, what might happen um, is that the, the cards in your hand do not allow you to purchase any of the cards available. So I have two magenta and one cyan splotch to, to purchase cards with, but all these cards are costing yellow and this is way too expensive for me at the moment. So there are no cards I can buy. What happens then is I get one more chance. We take all of these cards and return them to the bottom of the creature deck. And then we flip up four new cards from the top of the deck. So there we go. Uh, now I get a chance to purchase this card, which costs two magenta, which I have. So this player has uh, two magenta, one cyan and one wild splotch to purchase with. So that allows the player to actually acquire this card. And this card costs two cyan and two magenta. And that's fine because I have two magenta, one cyan and one wild. So I can purchase this card, which is quite expensive. Third player can purchase this one worth costing a single yellow. So the first player has now spent all of the cards in the starting deck and they have um, all the cards in their discard. Then you need to shuffle your discard. Whenever the draw deck is empty, you shuffle your discard and you get to draw three new cards. So let's see. This card has an extra card symbol on it, which means I get to draw one more card to my hand, right? And now I have three cyan and one yellow to purchase with. I will get this one. And second player also has to shuffle. There we go. One yellow, two magenta and one wild. I think I will get one of these ones, which is quite useful. Costing one of each color. And I will get back to explaining just exactly what it does in a minute.
So the first player needs to shuffle again, because I have only one card to draw, so I draw that one and I shuffle the rest. So, draw one extra card, draw another extra card, and here we go. So, I now have one yellow, two cyan, and two magenta. And I also have this magic wand. So let's see what this allows me to buy this round. So, um, just based on the cards I have, I can get one of these wands, um, and I can get this single card here and uh, that is about it but I can use my wand now to transform one of my colors into another color and that means that I can purchase um, almost all the cards on the table right now. So if I use my wand to transform these two cyan into yellow I will have a three yellow which allows me to, uh, to get this one. Also with three yellow and two magenta, I can get this one. And uh, another thing I can do is I can transform these two magenta into yellow, which gives me three yellow and two blue. And in that case, I can get this one. At this point, I will choose to go with the three yellow and get this paintbrush. The game will end once either the critter deck is completely depleted or these two items cards have all been bought. So when the brushes and the palettes are all gone, then uh, the game will end. So in order to calculate your score, you need to separate uh, your deck into the different kinds of cards. So the critter cards and the item cards and the point uh, critters, they all go in different Piles. So you sort the critter cards by their primary color, like this. All the yellows in one pile, all the magenta in one pile, and all the cyan cards in one pile. There we go. And um, if you have wilds, you can choose to put them along with uh, any color of your choosing. So I'll put this with the magenta cards. So on to the item cards. All right, so uh, the magic wand doesn't do anything for scoring, so just put that aside. But the, the palettes and the paintbrush uh, does indeed affect your scoring. So these can all be attributed to one specific uh, color each, right? And you can each color can have exactly one brush and exactly one um, palette. So if I put this palette here, I have to put this palette with another color, so I'll put that down here, and the brush goes here along with the palette. Now what this means is I will score two points for each of the cards in magenta, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six times two, that's 12 points. I will score or one point for each of the yellow cards, so one, two, three, four, five. That's five and 12, and then in addition I will score seven points for these point creatures. 12 plus 5 plus 7, a total of 24 points in this example.